Also, Mr. Yeah, this is Mr. Hey, sorry. She just said You know what? He just lost his right to stay in the courtroom, deputies. He, he can be Let's escorted out. Well, this is prosecution. All right. He's, he is no longer welcome in the courtroom. Call your next. Who's your next witness, Mr. Booker? Uh, Judge, I'm not sure if the court wants to be on the table or if I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to continue on. I would like to get as much evidence right, as possible. I have possible. two more witnesses, Judge. Okay. Uh, or should we wait for whatever? Okay. They know not to put Malia on there because, baby, she gonna be she would be worse than that. So he said two more witnesses. So he did not name uh, Malia's name, child, because he already know. <laughs> oh my God! I knew, I knew, I knew it was not gonna be a good idea. I was surprised at how good Jax did, but um, <laughs> oh my God. That's what you call standing on business. <laughs> he was standing on business. Okay. Child, let's see what Aya got to say. Do you solemnly swear or find the testimony you present to the court to be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you out? I do. State your name and spell it for the court, please. For Shay Wade. P O R C H A E. Last name Wade. W -A -D -E. I'm sure they're going to bring up how she left her Thank son you, to come to the group. Uh, Ms. Wade, how old are you? Um, um, Hold on. Before Ms. Wade answers, she has no papers. papers. Yeah, she can't. Okay, you, you, you won't be able to use notes, Ms. Wade. You'll have um, to turn them. Can you grab them from her, please? Sure, Judge. Okay. I cannot use my notes? No, ma'am. Why not? Ma'am. The law. You can't use notes. What? Okay, take your. You got to lay out the papers. <laughs> All right, very good. All right. I have a purpose, Judge. Okay, thank you. All right, Ms. Wade, how are you? Okay, before I start, I do. No, no. No, before you start. Let me answer the <laughs> questions. I do want no. to put on the record that I did oh, file the no. complaint. Okay. With Judge Tiger? No, no, no. Come on. no. Judge, if, if we get. Come on. Because you're oh. not listening. You're not listening. Are you going to listen? Oh, are my gonna, God. Gonna, this is not looking questions. good for no, him. Like, why would y'all be doing this? Well, I didn't answer the questions. Okay, so. Tr let's just try to stay right there. I'm not going to let her do this again. I'm going to give you one chance, one more chance to act appropriately. Otherwise, you're going to be removed from the courtroom. So ask a question, Mr. Booker, and answer that question and that question only, ma'am. Ms. Wade, how old are you? I'm 36. Okay. I know that there are more things that you want to say. Let's just try to get through the question, okay? Okay. All right. Um, where were you born in, Ms. Wade? I was born in Pasadena, California. Okay. All right. And how long have you lived in Georgia? I've lived in Georgia for going on three and a half years. Okay. To four. Okay. What kind of education do you have? I have a high school education, some college. Okay. Where'd you go to college at? I went to college, Pasadena City College. Okay. Do your parents live in California? Yes, they do. Okay. Do you stay in regular contact with them? No. Okay. Is that by your choice? My mother is deceased just recently, and my father is an honorable discharge from the military. The U.S. Army? Yes. Okay. U.S. Marine Corps. Marine. Okay. Do you stay in contact with him? No. Okay. Is that by your choice? No, it is because of his medical um, condition from being in the military. In the military. Okay. All right. Do you have any children? I have one. Okay. And how old is your child? Fourteen. Okay. All right. Where did you live in Atlanta? I lived at two nine nine three Arbor Chase in Decatur, Georgia. Okay. And who did you stay there with? I stayed there with Alihio Bishop and a few other people. Do you want me to name them all? No, you just, uh, about how many people stayed there? Oh, it was roughly around 16, 15, 16 people. Okay. Was it a mixture of males and females? Yes, it was. Okay. All right. Um, and during the time that you lived there, um, was there music production, video production happening? Yes, there was a constant um, music and video production daily. Okay. 
And did you take part in the music and video production? Yes, I did. What did you do? Um, I was an actor. Okay. So basically, I was one of the main people who were always on camera. Okay. Whether it was we were singing, whether we were dancing, whether we were doing a skit, uh, or whether we were just teaching. Okay. I was one of the main persons that was online. Okay. And was it decided before you got online uh, what the skits would be about, or was it just improv? Sometimes we would decide what they would be before. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time we would improv. Mm -hmm. But before we would improv, everybody was well aware that we were. Because people were, um, there were certain designated cameramen. Okay. So when you had the camera around, you knew that it was, we were, we were live. Okay. And was that something that was done every single day? It was done every day. Um, there was a time that we did take off for a few weeks on social media, and that's when we were harassed. Okay. And when you were harassed, was there, uh, were there people that came, did the police come thinking that you were uh, in some sort of trouble? Yes, they did. Okay. Um, may I approach the witness that? Yes. Okay. Child, they muted the audio. I knew it would get good when he put his supporters on the stand because they cannot control themselves. I was so surprised by um, Jax, who he did a really good testimony. He sounded like he has sense. Um, but I knew that if they put Malia on the stand, it was a wrap. I knew that Juju was a wild card. Look at her. Girl, go be with your son. You done left your child. You is too dang at your big age. Come on, honey. Rather than me watching it, trying not to look here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, rather than me watching it and then making a relevant subjection, I know I'm going to make a relevant subjection. So That's fine. Let's just, just go ahead and play. Right, Count, just for the record, could you explain what we just said at the bench conference, Mr. Yeah, Weber? Put, at, put that on the record. Yeah, at the bench conference, the state uh, indicated to the court that they would have an objection uh, for relevance regarding the uh, body cam video that I'm attempting to play through uh, Ms. Wade. Uh, the body cam, the state has now in their computer, they're standing up there, uh, they're going to play the video for the entire court. The question was whether or not it was relevant or not. Uh, my response was it was relevant because it deals with uh, whether or not people were being held against their will, and it also goes directly to the question uh, that she just asked, and she just responded to it in the witness this way, uh, of whether uh, there was a time that they were uh, not online and that people were being sent to the house in order to troll them. Uh, and this deals directly with that. She's on the video. She's actually the first person to come. Okay. Go ahead and play. Look, Mr. Booker, do you know which portion of the video it is? It's a very short video, Judge. That's fine. It's, it's, it's the entire video, maybe five, seven minutes. I'm not exactly right. sure. I think it's relevant. Um, Oh, let me, all right, let me, hold on one second. Yeah, I've got to fix this. Let me, okay. If people are saying they're being held against their will, like, even though we know he got mind control over them, I feel like the video well, is relevant. Is that your computer screen? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. It's, the program is opening now. They are going to help seal his... Guilty conviction. Is that it? She had a breath, ain't it? On the sand while we're doing this? It doesn't matter. Okay. She was there, so. Okay. Nothing should be shocking her. Hold it. 
Bill gonna be happy he was mentioned, child. Can I ask what kind of stuff you might be doing on the internet? You finally got your insert into the case, Mr. I should be on stand. And I'll be debating young Farrell. It's just like a bunch of little old white children, man. And you're good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all that. Last name was different, Last name was different. Let me double check that last name. Okay. Wait, they don't know my last name. They just. Let's see, whatever. So, but they may have access to your first name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Yeah, they keep doing this. They, they keep doing this. They keep making us look crazy. I said, what's your name, Yeah, it's been in there. Yeah. How do they know where he resides? How do they expect that in there? Well, on my house, they look up, like, things that look, you know what I'm saying, similar, and they look up online, and they find your address, and they post it online, and play with your name. Who else is here? Who's the top one people? Couple more people. Yeah. Like, people. Girls. Oh, you two girls? Yeah. All right. I, just, I just heard voices. That's all that is. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, nah, that's okay. Y'all can come in and check if y'all want. We got to be sure that now we can make me add comments to this. Yeah, come on. Come on. How you doing? That's who we are. This leads to a basement or something? The garage. That's where Malia had her little meltdown. I remember that. I don't think they need to play the whole six minutes, but I think up until when he like allow them to look through, yeah, that's relevant. Is a clock bathroom? We got a call for somebody saying they're being held against the wheel. You okay? You're good, absolutely. That's why I'm asking mm -hmm. you about the okay, I just want to let you know so I'm not crazy and it's being my body cameras record everything, so I just want to make sure for my body cam purposes saying y'all okay. Anybody okay. right here? Mm -hmm. I just want to the Oh, okay. When they get done, y'all just tell them. They kept it clean, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that door. Go ahead and check the kitchen. Anybody in the bathroom? 
She did the math. I mean, she did the kitchen. I already spoke to I feel like all this is relevant. Is everybody's okay? Everybody's here on free will? on there for false imprisonment. All these people are there, they can't leave, they get, got to run out at night. This is an extraordinarily relevant issue. It Secondarily, is. goes toward the fact, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, we're not saying that she's held against the will. What she said is that people, police would come there because there were times they did not produce videos and they came there during a time that they were down and they, they were being trolled and she's explaining that. Thirdly, if the state's going to argue that this is somehow hearsay, Across this entire state, Judge, there is body-worn camera that people are saying all types of things on throughout the entire camera. It has not been used as hearsay throughout our courts, and it's not hearsay here today. It is well, extraordinarily relevant. It's not hearsay. Body-worn camera. There's no hearsay exception for body-worn camera. It's true. I agree, Judge, but it's played every day in the courts. But, well, that's, every that's day. a separate issue, Mr. Bucker. Mr. Pevney, what's your response? Come on now, Judge. It's not relevant. To it is relevant. It's relevant. All audio needs to be redacted with the exception of a few statements near the end. Uh, she's already testified that people weren't, I mean, I think you can ask her about what happened that day and, you know, she, and no one, nobody indicated they were being held against their will. I don't have a problem with that. And she's already testified it, but I don't, I don't think this is relevant. So what's the legal ruling, Judge? The legal ruling is it's irrelevant. She can test. She's already testified that they weren't being held against her will. So, and if you want to ask her that on, on a particular day when the police were there, nobody said they were. No one reported that they were being held against her will. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't see the need for the um, video footage. I don't think it's relevant. And it's not relevant I to what, what issue is what I'm asking the legal ruling for. Well, she's already testified to it. Whatever the information on the video, she's yeah, but the, re the reason why they're there is for no, false imprisonment. Right. The, okay. the relevant issue, Judge, now I'll state it so we can have a clear record here. The relevant mm -hmm. issue is that throughout the entire case, the state has had a common thread that these women and men have been held there against their will. Yeah, and that, they, okay. that he had their documents. This video gives the exact opposite. I agree that she said that, but it also further goes to support what she just testified to which was that they were getting trolled. There were times that people would call the police and make certain assertions to them that, hey, police, these people are being held there against their will. That's exactly what that video that's, shows. That, that's, she can say that the police came out, nobody reported that they were being held against their will. That's essentially what the purpose is of this video footage. So I'm fine with her saying that, but... I disagree. I don't see the relevance of the need for the video. So I'll allow her to say that the police came out on this, on whatever date that was, and that nobody reported to the police. They were being held against their will. The police came in, searched everything, and nobody said anything about being held against their will. Okay, but but your rule is that it's irrelevant because- so it's, cumul it's cumulative, it's- So not relevant, it's- It's, it's both, it's okay. both, Mr. Bucker. All right, thank you, Judge. We're You're welcome. Forward. I disagree. All right, bring the, bring the jurors back. The in. whole charge that he has is false imprisonment. So if you're saying that they're being held against their will, then I think that 
that was relevant. But um, what do I know? There a time that law enforcement came by uh, and attempted to search the house because they believed that you were being held there against your will? Yes, there was many times that they came to the house to search because people were calling saying that we were being held against our will. Okay, were, were the police allowed to search the entire house? They were allowed to search many times. And inside the house? Inside the house, Did they yes. question, Did they question people in the house? Yes, they did. Were they allowed to look in every room in the house? Yes, they were. Okay, and the, were the police wearing body-worn camera when they did that? Yes, they were. Okay, um, and did you, was everything shared with Mr. Bishop there? Were you guys there during that time frame? I didn't understand your question. When, when the police came to search, was Mr. Bishop there? Yes, he was. Okay, and... There was a time that he they came to search mm -hmm. where he wasn't there. We were just, um, me and Kayla Buckner were just coming back from the grocery store. Okay. And they pulled up on us. It was just me and her. We were getting out the car. Okay. And they asked us if everything was okay. Okay. And we let them know that, yeah, I mean, we're just coming from the store. Okay. What, do you remember what year that was? That was the same year, um, 2022. Okay. All right, and you and Kayla were coming back from the grocery store? Yes, we were. So you were actually allowed to go to the grocery store? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. All right. And how did you get there? I drove. You did? Yes. Wow, okay. You could actually drive to the grocery store. All right, and Mr. Bishop didn't have to, to follow you or anything like that to go to the grocery store? No, that's ridiculous, no. Okay. All right. Um, so women were allowed to go to the grocery store if they wanted to go? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, um, going back to improv versus acting, singing, things like that. Um, were you trained in acting or singing, or is it something you just learned how to do? It's something that I just learned how to do. Okay. Uh, when you were in high school or college, what was your, what was your major? Um, my major changed. Um, it was nursing, and then I changed to arts. Um, but when I... When I decided not to pursue nursing any longer, I did withdraw. From okay. And when you first met Mr. Bishop, where did you meet him at? What, what was that question? Where did you meet Mr. Bishop at when you first met him? How did you learn about him? Where did you meet him at? Yeah, so I, I met him, um, initially I first saw his videos online. Mm -hmm. um, it was a music video, um, Shining Bright, the song. And then um, I started to go in and learn more about his teachings on YouTube. Um, I saw what he was teaching and I saw that he was very handsome. And I was like, oh, I want to know more about him. So I started to learn more. Okay. And when did you first meet him? I met him September of 2018. That's when I first met him. In person? Yes. And where was that at? Mexico. Okay. Uh, and from September of 2018, uh, until now, have you been around them? Yes, every day. Okay, all right. Um, and so going back, that's six years? Sounds about right? It sounds right. Okay. Um, during that six years, um, have you ever been hit by him uh, in a violent manner? Has he ever punched you, kicked you, or beat you? No. Okay. Have you seen him act violently toward other women? No, I've never seen him act violently toward other women. Now he is, he's a communicator. He likes to talk, so he is very uh, passionate when he speaks and most people mistake that for being uh, violent, but he's not aggressive. He's just very passionate about what he says. Okay, has he instructed other women, uh, including yourself, to hit other people that we're going to have? There was a unanimous decision made by the group of people that were there. We all had a meeting, and it was a unanimous decision that we would implement the slapping part as a part of spiritual improv for the documentary we were recording. Okay, and what, what does that mean for people who are not under, what does that mean? Which part? Well, we were slapping each other for uh, for improv. What, what it, was it for attention purposes? It was for attention mostly because what we teach doesn't get a lot of views. The drama gets more views than the teachings. Okay. We're more interested in people learning about what we have to teach. So we did get creative 
on different ways where we can get more attention. Um, the slapping was a part of it because once we saw Chris Rock slap, I mean, once we saw Will Smith slap Chris Rock, we thought it was very funny, and the whole everybody thought it was funny. And we was like, that's how you get a lot of attention. We'll do that. Everybody agreed. Okay. It wasn't for purposes of intimidation or to punish people or anything like that? No. Okay. All right. So during the time that you've been in the group, you, you got to know, uh, do you know Velvet Marquez? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, Cable Butner? Yes, I do. Uh, Brianna Jacobs? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Brianna Jacobs. How, how long was she around in the group? Brianna Jacobs um, wasn't around long. <coughs> she came and left. A lot. Okay. Um, maybe she came twice, um, but she wasn't around us a lot. Okay. She had her own relationship that she was in, so okay. she mostly was just staying with us. Okay. Was there a time in 2021 or 2022 that she called and asked to become a member of the group again? Yes, she did. Okay. Um, and had she been had she been gone for from the group for a while? When she did that? Yes. She's okay. been gone for her years. Okay. But she called and asked, could she, could she come around? She called and asked to come around. And then when she did come to our house in Atlanta, we did a, um, an online interview of her asking her why she decided to come. Okay. Was she, was she permitted to come back? Of course, yes. Okay. She was. Did she in fact come back? Yes. Okay. All right, and uh, Kendra Carter, how, how often were you around her? I was around Kendra Carter a lot. We both cooked in the kitchen okay. a lot of times. Okay, and during the six years you've been um, in the group, Kendra Carter was in the group for a good portion of that time? Oh, yes, Kendra Carter was there before I, before I was. Really? Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, what Was uh, Velvet Marquez um, around a lot as well? Yes, she was. Um, when she decided to come back, she was. Okay. Did she and Mr. Bishop have a child together? Yes, they do. Beautiful girl. Okay. Um, was she around when you first got to, um, I think you said Puerto Rico or Costa Rica? Where did you meet him first? Then? Mexico. Mexico. I'm in the wrong place altogether. So was she around at that time? Yes, she was. Okay. All right. Did you ever, have you ever seen Mr. Bishop hit her or punch her or body slam her or anything along those lines? No. Have you ever seen Mr. Bishop tell someone else to go hit her no. uh, in order to, okay. No. All right. Now, there was production done yeah. every day. Uh, was production done in such a way where um, it was recording frequently? Yes, there was recording all the time. And these were, were these videos that were placed on the, on the internet? Yes, they were. Okay. And were there people that were following you or following your group on the internet? Yes. Okay. Was the acting, were there different characters that you would act with? We had a lot of different characters. Um, Alihio had a lot of different characters as well. Okay. Uh, what were some of the characters that he had? His most popular character was Dr. Bishop. Um, he had Leroy. He had Totally Todd. Um, Uncle Fernando the Commando, and his most recent character was Three God. Okay, and these were all characters that he uh, that he used online. Yes, they are. Okay, all right. Now I'm going to jump on forward to March 24th. Well, let, let's deal with the next call out of the country first. Okay. When when you were outside the country, um, did you guys use the bathroom outside the house? Uh, using the bathroom outside the house was everyone's choice. You, we had restrooms everywhere that we went. Um, well, you know, there's restrooms in the house. You could use the restroom in the house if you wanted to. Everybody did. They took showers. It's regular. It's normal. Um, if they wanted to use the restroom outside, they could. Okay. And it, uh, and the reason why there was um, using the restroom outside is because of our beliefs, which is protected by the First Amendment. I mean, that we believe that essentially there's a, um, a natural flow of exchange with the earth that we live on. So okay. you use the bathroom on the earth, you get blessings. Okay. All right. So um, after you, you left there, jumping forward to March 24, 2022, were you in the house that day, that night? Yes, I was. Okay. Uh, was 
let me ask, have you been around? Yes. Okay. All right, what name did she go by? She went by. Okay. What do, what do you remember uh, seeing uh, regarding on March 24, 2022? Tell the truth. Oh, what was that question? What, what did you, what do you recall about on March 24, 2022, uh, about her interactions with Mr. Bishop? What did you witness? Well, I know that she did get into an altercation with the women. Um, and then after there was an altercation with the women, she decided that she wanted to leave. Um, she did tell us that she really didn't want to leave, but she was just upset with the women. Um, after she said that she wanted to leave, I mean, we helped her get her stuff. She went upstairs to get her bags. I mean, and of course the women were, they were, you know, arguing with her. Um, I believe when she went upstairs to grab her paintings and stuff, um, was upset with her and, um, you know, giving her her, throwing her paintings in her suitcase. Um, and um, so once she got her stuff and she was ready to leave, she went downstairs. Um, Alihio Bishop was downstairs, asked her if she was okay. Um, okay. She said no, and he was like, okay, well, you have a ride. She said, yes, my ride's on the way. He's like, okay, go ahead. Okay. And leave. Okay, and so was her ride an Uber or something outside? It was an Uber outside. Did you actually see it? Yes, I did. I was outside with her for a moment when she was getting ready to leave, both her bags were outside by the door, outside of the door, close to the Uber where she was going. Okay, um, and so did you witness her go back inside? I didn't witness her go back inside. Okay. When she came back inside, I was already upstairs in the back, back, in the back bedroom I was laying down. Okay, um, and what happened, what did you witness from there? Um, while I was laying in the back room, I saw her come in first, and then Alihio came in shortly after. They were talking, and they didn't see me laying in the bed. Um, once they saw me laying in the bed, they smiled at me, and then they um, said, can, I, can you give me a moment to talk? Okay, and this was on the second floor of the house? Second floor of the house. Okay, and what which room was this? Was it a bedroom, or...? It was a bedroom. Okay, what did, was it a bedroom with bunk beds in or what, what bedroom was it? The bedroom was bunk beds all the way to the end. Okay, all right, and were bunk beds the only beds in that room? Yes, there were. Okay, and were you laying on the top bunk or the bottom bunk? The bottom bunk. Okay, uh, does this bedroom have a bathroom as well? Yes, it does. Okay, does it connect to another room? Yes, it does. Okay, all right, so you saw her come in first and him come in afterwards. Is that what you testified to? Yes. Okay. Uh, was he pulling her, pushing her, prodding her? No. Anyway, no. He when when she came in, she came in first. They weren't holding hands or anything like that. He came in shortly after her. Okay. All right. And um, they talked and they asked you to excuse them. Yes. Okay. Can you tell the jury what you witnessed? Uh, well, when when they first came into the room, they were they were like did a quick hug or whatever, and they were talking. They were talking very low, so I did not hear what they said actually. But then they turned to me and they were kind of so I said, "Oh, uh, you're laying in the bed," and I was like, "Yes, I'm right here." And then they were like, well, can, you, "Can you excuse me for a moment so we can talk?" I said, "Yes, I will." And I went into the bathroom that's right there that connects the two bedrooms. Okay. All right. What was the next thing that you witnessed regarding and Elysium? Um, I, so I was in the bathroom that whole time. Um, How long do you think? Just an estimate. Um, they ain't creep. I could estimate, <laughs> I would probably would say I was in there for around six minutes. Okay. Um, during that time, um, I had turned the lights off and it was kind of lower dim because I did have a headache. Okay. And so... I could hear everything that was going on because this bathroom is very small and it connects both bedrooms. Creepy creep. So when I was in that um, bathroom, I didn't hear any noises or anything that was unmute. Like you know, <laughs> she was in the bathroom like you didn't this. Hear anybody hitting anybody or crying or no. anything along those lines. No. Okay. Um, and so, do you see again 
after you come out of the bathroom? Yes. Right about? Six minutes, like, well, around six minutes. After I came out of the bathroom, I opened the door. Um, the, the door was back open again. Um, so I came out and I saw she was there. And then she looked at me and she smiled. She was like, can I go in the bathroom? And I said, I smiled her. I was like, yeah, of course. Why are you asking me that? You know you can use the bathroom. Okay. And then she was like, oh, okay. Yeah, she hears that. Okay, I don't think it's for the purpose of the truth of the matter asserted, but sure, we'll skip beyond that. All right, um, well, just for the record, I'm sustaining the objection. Go ahead. All right, you're not able to say, they don't want you to say what Ms. Neal told you. Uh, so, oh, okay. uh, did she go into the bathroom? She went into the bathroom after that. Sure. Okay, did you see her again after that? Yes, I did. Okay, uh, where did you see her at? I saw her walk into the master bedroom where we were. We were all in the closet getting ready to go to bed. Mr. Bishop was live. Um, we were in the bathroom, I mean the closet, we were getting dressed. She came in briefly and she gave us a hug. And then I asked her, was she going to sleep? Which room was she going to sleep in? Okay. She told me which one. Yes, it's the same. Don't repeat what someone else told you. Okay. So you communicated with her mm -hmm. and you learned without saying what you learned, you learned which bedroom she was going to sleep in. Yeah. Okay. All right. And did you see her again after that time? Right? Um, after that, I didn't see her. Okay. All right. Uh, did you guys go to sleep? Yes. Okay. And you said Mr. Bishop was on live. Yes, he did a live that night. Okay. All right. And that was in the main bedroom? He was in the main bedroom. Okay. And All right. he, he was in the main bedroom and he would walk down to um, the bottom of the living room area. He would, he would walk around. Okay. Anyway. All right. Um, had you seen Miss and Mr. Bishop being affectionate together? Were they, were they affectionate in front of the other people? Uh, they were affectionate all the time in front of everyone. There was many, many photo shoots that we conducted with me, myself included, in these photo shoots. There are many dances that they did together. Um, you know, they just had a nice relationship. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, was Mr. Bishop in a polygamous relationship? Uh, was there more than one wife that he had? Well, technically, he's not polygamous because he's not married to legally to more than one spouse. He did have, um, you know, a lot of girlfriends, of women who likes him there, but he's not polygamous. Okay. Was there one woman who was considered to be his queen? Yes. And who was that? Uh, Tanisha Delay. She goes by Queen Malia. Okay. Um, was there jealousy among some of the other women regarding her? Regarding Queen Malia? Yes. Um, yes, there was. Um, there was, uh, she was very jealous. Um, she did compete a lot to go to, you know, to get to the queen position. Um, we held a queen pageant where it was Queen Malia and I myself. We were um, all nominated to be queen. Um, and she just wanted to be the queen, so she did a lot of stuff to try to get that spot. Okay. All right. Uh, was all of that recorded uh, online or was it just within the house? Yes. The Queen competition is recorded. Okay. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. A couple of questions about your, your beliefs uh, that I have to ask you. Uh, do you believe that Mr. Bishop is God? Well, God essentially is a spirit, and a spirit is something that essentially is within every person. So we be, I believe that everybody is God because they essentially have that same life force energy within them. Okay. All right. Uh, did you, when Mr. Bishop was um, at the house, did you guys have rules that if someone were to break, that there would be some sort of physical violence on that person? No. Okay. Uh, were there... Uh, scenarios where Mr. Bishop, if he didn't eat dinner, then nobody would eat dinner. Was that a rule? No. If anybody was hungry, they would just go say. I was over the kitchen. I cooked a lot. I made sure that there was food made, and so I put it to the side. If anybody wanted to come and eat, they could just come and grab something, like say, for instance, this pot is 
here. There okay. will be food there just sitting there for people to eat. Okay. All right. So there was no no food was not um, kept back from the, the group. No. Okay. Uh, what about if if he didn't go to sleep, then nobody else could go to sleep? Well, that true. And no, I I would sleep all the time. So when I got when I got tired, I went to sleep. Okay. People okay. could go to sleep if they want to go to sleep. Okay. And if people disagree with Mr. Bishop, uh, would he do things to them, like isolate them, put them in a closet, beat them up, those types of things? And no, he wouldn't do that. Okay. No. Um, Y'all got I'm videos ask you, of it. I'm sure the state's going to ask you. Uh, have you been in regular contact with Mr. Bishop um, over the last year or two? Yes. Okay. Do you talk to him frequently? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, would you lie for him? Would you come in court and just say stuff on his behalf that's untrue? No, I stand on the principle of justice. And Alivio is my friend, but I will tell the truth. Okay. Has he told you what to say to them? No. Okay. Um, has he influenced what you said today? No. Um, I am a first-hand witness of everything that has went on. Like I said before, I've been with him for six years. So I've seen a lot of things that are going on. So okay. what I'm saying today is the truth of what my account of what happened for okay. all of these events. Okay. Um, have do you care about him now? Yes, I do. Um, where do you live here in Atlanta now, still? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, do you talk to them on a pretty frequent basis? Yes, I do. Daily? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm sure the state's going to ask you this. Where you stay now, is the rent paid on your property by him? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have income of your own? No. Okay. Where do you get income from? Um, essentially, there's people who look out for us or they donate to us. Um, I reach out, uh, my sister, she sent money for us to pay out the rent and stuff like that. Um, and Girl, go get a people job. people who are concerned with us, they send us money to pay the rent. Okay. A couple more questions that I'm going to sit down. The April 7, 2022, were you at the house that day? April 7th. When Mr. Bishop was arrested? Yes, I was. Okay. Um, were did everybody have a phone in the house? Was phones frequent, or were they kept from people? Yeah, everybody had multiple phones and devices. Okay, um, and so were people able to call their family members if they wanted to? Yes, if they wanted to call anybody who they wanted to call, they could. Okay, and during the six years that you have been um, in the group, were did people's families sometimes come and visit them? Yes, um, Caleb Buckner. Her family visited on two different, two separate occasions. One in back in 2020, she came over for a get together. Mm -hmm. um, her mother, her grandmother, and her brother. Okay. Um, in 2000, and I'm, I'm not sure, but I believe it was in 2021. Mm -hmm. They came over um, at the 2993 Arbor Chase address, and we had a get together with a lot of people there. Um, it was a lot of people, a lot of different family relatives, you know, just people who came. But if, so if you, if a person wanted to stay in contact with their family, they could? Yes, and there was many occasions where, um, my sister reached out, she, um, you know, and even if she did, she reached out online, um, and we did a live on there, we were talking in front of the public, and then she calls me afterwards. And I talked to her some more. Okay. Uh, so going back to April 7, 2022, the police, uh, did they question you on that day? April 7? Yes, ma'am. No, I did demand to know what was happening on multiple occasions from the detectives, and they did not tell me what was going on. Okay, so you were not interviewed that day? No, I was put into a room. And I was told by Monica Pinocchio. No, you can't talk about what someone else told you. Okay. Uh, I was put into a room and I was waiting for someone to come and talk to me. Um, I waited for, uh, you know, some hours. 
And then once somebody came by, I asked them, when am I going to be questioned? And when am I going to be let know what's going on? Um, I was moved to another room for questioning uh, where I waited another hour and no one ever came to question me. And so you ultimately were released after that? Ultimately, after that, I was released. Okay. And within the house, the devices that were within the house, they were typically um, devices that were used by the group in order to make music production and video production? Yes, there was a lot of cameras, um, equipment, people had tablets, cell phones, computers, um, yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Stacey, I have a few questions for you. Carl? Good afternoon, Ms. Wade. Good afternoon. Hi. All right, just a few questions for you. Um, so I think on direct examination, you talked about um, witnessing the Chris Rock slap. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes, I did. Um, and that was funny to you all? Yes, it was. And you thought that would get you all attention? Yes. Um, because it got Chris Rock attention? Yes, it did. Um, among other things, we do notice that from our experience with more than just the Chris Rock slap, but before that, we notice that our numbers go up in the room as soon as there is some sort of drama or an argument or some sort of something that somebody can look at and pay attention to. And you realize the Chris Rock slap was March 27, 2022, right? Uh, I'm not aware of that. So it was after this incident occurred? Okay. All right. So when you, when you joined uh, Mr. Bishop's group, and you're still a member, right? Uh, a member? Yes, of Carbon Nation. No. Okay. Are you not a member of Carbon Nation anymore? Uh, Carbon, Carbon Nation, uh, that is just a very touchy subject. I was affiliated with Carbon Nation, um, a member. I don't know if it could be called a member technically because... I mean, we were just a group of people that joined his life. We just wanted to come and be with him. Fair so enough. I don't know if I could call it me being a member. Okay. You're still in his group, joining his life? Yes. Today? Yes. All right. And uh, when you joined his group, you had to sell any belongings that you had? Can you repeat that? When you joined his group, you had to sell any of the belongings that you had? You said myself? Not yourself, any of your belongings. You had to sell them to get money. No. Okay. No. I and didn't sell anything to get money. All right. When you when you came to the group, did you have money? No. I didn't have any money. And while you were in the group, you weren't allowed to work, were you? Um, I wasn't working before I came to the group. I wasn't working for about five years, five to six years prior to me joining the group. And other folks in the group, they weren't allowed to work, were they? If they wanted to leave and work, they could. Outside of the group, they could work? Outside of the group, they could. Okay. And uh, let's talk about some of the rules. Uh, Mr. Bishop had rules for the women. You said rules? I want to talk about rules. Rules. <laughs> okay. Rules. There were certain rules for women, right? Rules. Role. Uh, spell. Are you talking about role, R-O-L-E, or rule, R-U-L-E? I'm talking about general rules, R-U-L-E-S, uh -huh. and then the roles, R-O-L-E-S, of women, okay? Yes. Um, and he thought women were less than the men, right? No. Y'all were on equal footing? Yes, and I just want to say, most of the things that he does say online are for a wow factor. But he doesn't, he probably did say that one time in his videos that he felt that women were beneath them. But essentially, no. He has been had said in many other videos where he thinks that women are his equal and that women are um, essentially above him. Because we are, the, you know, we carry him and men, children inside our wounds. Okay. And he thinks women are property, right? His property. He doesn't think that women, all women, are his property. If you, if he believes that, if you're in a relationship with him, um, that you know, you're you're his, you're his woman. 
And it's not to say you're his property as in like, you know, a tag or something like that. He's not saying it in that type of term. And um, he, he tells you all how to dress, right? No. He didn't tell you how to dress today? No. He didn't tell you to make sure you wore something that was different from what you normally wear? A lot of people give me advice on what to wear because I'm a public figure. So I get many phone calls every day. People tell me, don't wear this, don't wear that. Essentially, it's my choice on what I want to wear. But I'm asking specifically about Mr. Bishop and what he told you and the other wives, girlfriends, women that he's in a relationship with. He told you all what to wear to come to court, didn't he? He didn't pick out my outfit. He doesn't know what I have in my closet. Okay. Um, now, you gave this, uh, your testimony today about coming in the room, um, they smiled at you, they asked for a moment. You, you testified to that on direct, right? Can you say that one more time? Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, on direct examination, when Mr. Booker was asking you questions, mm -hmm. um, you testified that Mr. Bishop came into the room, they smiled at you, they asked for a moment. Yes. And that you were in the bathroom the entire time. Yes, I was. And you have never given that statement to law enforcement, ever, have you? I was never asked by law enforcement. And when this all happened on April, when we were arrested on April 7th, um, was it April 7th? I asked, nobody was ever asking me any questions. So I don't know the legal process, and I was reaching out to s several different people to, you know, help me on where should I, what should I do. Um, but essentially, no, I didn't give this to any officers, but I did give it to Booker, and I believe when he first um, came on to our case as a lawyer, I gave him this same story. Okay. And just a couple more questions. Mr. Bishop would often tell you guys that outside was hell. You said that he told us that outside was hell? Mr. I don't know if I said Mr. Booker. I meant Mr. Bishop if I did. Mr. Bishop would often tell you guys that outside was hell. Well, his, our beliefs are protected under the First Amendment rights. We don't believe that outside essentially is hell. We believe that this is, you know, this is the earth and we, have, we wake up every day, there's another chance and another opportunity. Hell is a mental state. So if you are living where you did something wrong and you feel guilty and you feel regret for that, then we will say you're in a hell state of mind. Okay. And, and you believe that Mr. Bishop is your Lord? No. Okay. You don't believe he's the Messiah? Yes, he is the Messiah. He does uh, bring a certain message for a general uh, group of people. And because he is the Messiah, you can't say no to him, can you? Yes, I say no to him a lot, actually. And there's consequences when that happens, right? No, I don't know. There's no consequences when you say no. You just say no and everything's fine. He's fine with it. Yeah, essentially he'll ask, um, well, why? And then you say, well, I just, no, I just don't want to. Then it's like, okay. All right. Uh, now, social media, you all had an online presence back in March 2022. You still do, right? Yes. And Mr. Bishop had a Twitter page. Yes. And he was the only one that controlled, or he was one that controlled that Twitter page. No. Nothing was posted without his consent. No. There were things that were posted without his consent. There were things that I posted, videos that I posted on there. Um, but then if mainly those were hit, that was his page, mainly he, he was in control over his own page. But there were times where I would post something on there that I liked. Okay. And the videos, of, you didn't post those, did you? I posted one because I am in the video with her. Are you admitting that you just posted 
Graphic videos on Twitter? Yeah. Okay. Take that charge for your man, girl. Yeah, I do. Because I'm in the video with her. You know that's a crime, right? No. It's not a crime unless when the person agreed for the video to be posted. And I'm actually in the video with her, with several other women that day. And we were teaching a class after that video. His Twitter page is open right now. There's multiple videos that show the date that, that, that those Twitty videos were posted. It was posted before she left. She was there. There was many videos that me and her did together to promote that we were posting on Twitter. There was one um, post that we did where we were sitting, me and her, sitting on Mr. Bishop's lap with our butts showing. So yes, she was well aware that we posted the videos because I was in the video with her. Take that charge for your man, girl. <clears throat> Okay, so you're saying you posted one of those videos? Yes, I did. All right. Now, let's just talk about uh, your contact with Mr. Bishop since this trial's going on. Y'all talk every single night, right? Yes, we do. And when y'all talk, it's you, yes. Malia, or Tanisha Delay. Yes. And um, Kayla Buckner. Yes. Every time y'all talk, it's the three of y'all. Yes. And he's called Ms. Delay's phone 59 times since last week, since this trial has started. Yes. And he's called your phone 18 times since this trial started. Yes. And he's called Ms. Buckner's phone five times since this trial started. Yes. So y'all have talked in, a la in the last week at least 82 times. Yes. And in those conversations, he gives you updates about what's happening in the trial. Yes. He tells you what people are saying. Yes. He's telling you what uh, he doesn't tell me what he's saying. But y'all talk about the trial, right? Yes, we talked about the trial. In general, we don't talk about specifics all the time of the trial. That's all happened. Can you redirect? Oh, all right. Will she be excused? Yes, and she can remain in the courtroom. She can remain in the courtroom as long as there are no outbursts. She's not going to have any outbursts. Okay. She can remain in the courtroom. All right. Next witness. Y'all doing okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna step out of Okay. And we still have that person on Zoom. Did you have a new camera on? Um, I don't know. This witness that just got off Aya or Porsche Wade or however, you, whatever, she's older, you know? So, I mean, she's clearly brainwashed, but she's not, I mean, I don't, it, it doesn't really hold the same weight like the older you are to me, even though you can be at any age and, you know, be brainwashed and all that. But it was just really sad, like the young, guy and be him being like so impressionable and young and y'all let me know what y'all think about it I don't think that this helps his case at all I do think that the video that they wanted to play I think it was relevant um like the attorney said like body cam footage gets played all the time in court so in and you know whether it's hearsay or not it still gets played so I think that the body cam footage was relevant, in my opinion, because that's the whole reason or the crux of the case. The reason why we are here is false imprisonment. It's because um, there was allegation that they were being held against their will. Their belongings were being withheld. In that video, you seen that Aya went straight for her bag. She pulled out her identification, gave it right to them. So I feel like it was very, very relevant as far as the narrative that they are painting but i have to um try to get this video up to y'all so y'all let me know what y'all think i'm not gonna stop the evidence for it but i will when we break for lunch okay um then we're ready to proceed and i will bring miss wilson back okay sounds good okay so I have Ms. Wilson online, Judge, and I have one with you outside. That's fine. I, my plan is to try to finish your evidence, and then we'll break for lunch, and then we'll come back and do closings. Okay. And then we'll see what time we are, or, or what time it is at that point. Okay. All right. Ms. Wilson, you can unmute now, please. All right. There's, I see Mr. Bishop. I'm going to thank you, Deputy. I see you. Your attorney, um, Mr. Bishop, Mr. Booker, is going to call you when we break for lunch.
And I'm going to keep the video. Um, I think we would need to revisit his testimony of judge before lunch. Sure, that's fine. He that's never fine. said specifically. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. We'll have we'll do that too. All right, but I'm going to keep the courtroom C video off so that the jurors don't see him in the orange jumpsuit. All right, with that, we have Miss Wilson. Um, and let me. Ms. Wilson, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay. Raise your right hand. Mm -hmm. You solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you will give this court will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. Okay. State your full name for the record, please. Eva Wilson. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Booker. All right. Good afternoon, Ms. Wilson. How are you? I'm great. How are you? All right. Ms. Wilson, where are you located today? Um, Dallas, Texas. Okay. Were you present in court uh, here uh, Tuesday morning here in Atlanta? <laughs> My first impression of her is call me now for your free reading. Okay, let me stop. Yes. Uh, did you fly here to testify in person? Yes. Okay, but you had to go back home? Um, I stayed... Uh... I was there two days, and then the COVID situation happened, okay. and I had to go back home. Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, do you know? Yes. Okay. How long have you known her? I knew her on Facebook only, or are we talking about like once I knew her in person? Have you met her in person before? Yes. Okay. When did you meet her in person? Um, 2021. Okay. And where did you meet her at? I picked her up from the airport, uh, the Dallas airport. Okay. And did she stay at your uh, house? She came to live with me. Okay. Do you know where she was coming from? Her, her parent, her mom's house. I mean, her parents' house. Uh, her mother contacted me, but she had just came from, I believe, Puerto Rico. Okay. And so how long did she stay with you? From... Now you can't look at your phone. Put your phone down. Okay. So from like the end of June until the end of August. Okay, for a few months. Mm-hmm. Make sure you say yes or no, okay? Oh, yes. Thank yes. You. Okay. And she stayed in your house with you? Yes. Okay. Had you met her online prior to her coming to your house? Uh, yes. How did you meet her online? Um, at the time, she was um, doing like vegan recipes and yoga, and she was with... Um, another herbalist at the time it, she wasn't in carbonation she was with another uh, herbalist and so we would just be on there with the recipes and the readings um, what kind of readings like psychic readings okay is that something she was doing yes okay you had her do that for you uh yes okay and so at the time when she when she came to sit with me she had given me uh, one reading before. Okay. All right. And so she stayed with you for a few months. Did you guys stay in contact yeah. after she left? Yes. Did you, how did you stay in contact? By phone, social media? Well, phone, uh, phone and social media. Okay. Uh, so to jump forward, in May 24th, or May of, two, sorry, March of 2022, did she reach out to you after that day? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, did she? What? What did she reach out to you about? Um, coming Girl, talk. to get mm-hmm. her um, from Atlanta, from Nature Boys. Um, the she was she left Nature Boys house, and I was gonna come get her, or either see if I can get them to work out their issues. So she was either gonna stay. They were going to work it out and stay, or he was, he was going to come back with me. But um, I wasn't aware that she was back with him until then, because when she let, when I asked her to leave my home, um, I, I just assumed maybe she went home or whatever. I didn't know she was going to go back because she came to me because she was needing to be rescued from the situation with him. Okay. That's what she told you. Well, ma'am, if she had nowhere to go and she couldn't go home and she had to come to your house and you kicked her out and she has no resources. Anyways. Her mom. Okay. All right. And so she she told you that she wanted you to come pick her up but and she wanted you to fix things between her and the Bishop. Yes, yeah, she had. She gave me his number okay. and had me to call him. Okay, and this was after March 24, 2022? Yes. Okay. Do you recall giving me a screenshot of a phone um, that you took from March the 28th of 2022? Yes. Okay. Um, Was that a picture that you took of your phone? Yes. And uh, did you give that to me yourself? Yes. And the picture that you gave me, uh, has it been edited or modified in any way? No. Okay. Judge, I have no way to show her because she's on Zoom. I don't know if the state's going to have an objection, but I would move to tender the picture uh, that she's giving me of her phone that she's described uh, as defense exhibit two. Judge, if I can just see the exhibit he intends to admit. They could have left her off. No objection. What's what's foundation? Well, I guess. How are you gonna lay the foundation? I have no way of showing it to a judge. I mean, I, I, she had she identified the picture. I'm not sure what else foundation the course that's for. There's some numbers on the top of the page. Maybe she can authenticate that number. Who it's going to? Who it's coming from? Okay. The picture that you provided me had a phone number at the top. It also has. Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. And it also has two messages on there, and they're both sent March 28, 2022 at 12.45 p.m. Do you recall who that phone number, who, who that phone number belonged to? Alicia. Okay. And it was, a, was it a phone number that was given to you by uh, Miss uh Yes. And did you use that phone number that's at the top to reach out to him and he replied to you with a text? No. What happened was I called him. Then we uh, we talked. Then when the phone hung up, that's the text he texted back saying that they would call me back. Okay. But I had talked to him. Okay. So you actually spoke to Mr. Bishop? Yes. And this was on, and was it through this nine three nine number that's at the top? Yes. Okay. Judge, I think she's identified the photograph. Any objection? No objection. Okay, go okay. ahead. And I've marked that as defense exhibit, I believe too. Defense two? I believe so. Okay. One word of messages for okay. the detective. Alright. Uh I moved it to the next Based on defense number two, is it admitted? And I think you already have. It sounds like there was no objection. It's admitted. Okay, and so that message uh, includes communication uh, that you communicated with Mr. Bishop. Uh, there was a text that was sent, but you had not communicated with him before, correct? Not until she gave me his number. Uh, any other times they've ever gotten into it, she's never. I've never been able to talk to him. She never wanted me to. She would handle it on live or Vigo or whatever she would do. 
but she's never like went as far as to give me his number. This was the first time. Okay, and that was on March 28, 2022, is that correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Did you continue to uh, text with her throughout 2022? Um, were, were, were you and her on friendly terms? Uh, for a little bit, we were. Um, basically, until I got ready, uh, we stayed in contact because I was trying to uh, get help because she had asked me to gather money for her and go to my social media and ask people to help her because she needed to start over again. Okay. And then at some point did things fall off after that? Did, did you not help her or what happened? This, well, this, it, the story kept changing and the person that I had that offered to bring me there to come get her, he dropped out of it and said that he didn't no longer want to be a part because she had kept asking him for money. He said that since he had never met her before, that he didn't he didn't feel comfortable and he no longer wanted to be involved. And then with me, at first I was really on the gas about coming because she had told me that she had gotten hit, jumped on. So I was I was trying to come for that, so I called someone that lives in Atlanta through Facebook and asked could he and his wife keep her there until I could come get her. Or we were just trying to find um, ways, and then he uh, gave me a shelter uh, to give to her. But we were trying to make a more of an emergency out of it to where she could get the help. Okay. And so that's when it turned into conversation. Well. You know, I was like, well, you know, he, you could say he hit you, you know, or different things that women, you know, use to get into shelters and stuff, you know, when they get into it with their spouses. We were trying to um, go that route, and then we decided not to go that route, and just that she would wait. So I paid, I, I was under the assumption I paid for a couple of days for a room for her, and I sent her money to eat until I could come get her. Okay. But you never came to get her. Go ahead. You never came to get her, though? No. Okay. All right. And did you do any type of uh, online, like, FaceTime with her or Zoom calls or anything with her where you could see her around the time? No. Uh, we just we just kept um, talking um, back and forth. The main thing... Um, well, we kind of had a little bit of a rough spot when she did give me his number to call. She was telling me not to be. Judge, she was saying he's a. Hold speaker. on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to object to hearsay and relevance. Response. Um, I, I will just ask her not to respond with that. Um, okay. What she said. Don't talk about what she said or what anybody else said, okay? Oh, uh, between her and I? Correct. If you find yourself okay. wanting to say she told me, you can't do that. Oh, okay. But you guys, okay. you guys had a rough spot. There was a time that there was a disagreement. Is that correct? Yes. And is that when the relationship kind of ended? Um, no, actually, um, we just wouldn't text. But I was always there, so um, I I actually sent her sea moss and tea and. After her pregnancy announcement, she sent me pictures of her uh, when she was having a virtual baby shower and things like that. What year was so it? So we was, we was still talked all the way until 2023. Okay. And when did she have the baby? Do you know? I don't know because actually that's when I, after that baby shower, I did totally um, disconnect with her and I would just talk to her mother. And so the last I talked to her mother was uh, Christmas when I asked her how was she enjoying her new grandbaby. And Christmas of 2022 or 2023? This one, the this past. Okay, so within the last three months you've been in contact with her or her family? Yes. Okay, and in fact in 2022 there are additional messages here that I'm not going to put in, but there were messages between you and her where she wished you Happy Mother's Day and things like that, correct? Yes. Okay, and your communication with her was friendly. Is that correct? 
Yes. Okay. Yes. And you said after she had her baby, you sent her gifts. Is that also true? No, um, I was, but I didn't. No, after the baby shower, yes, the virtual baby shower, that's when we disconnected and I just dealt with her mother. Okay. And does her mother live in the United States? Yes. Okay. And during 2019 and 2020, did you communicate with her during those years also? Uh, yes. Okay. Did you ever did, did you ever see pictures of her during that time frame? Of Jeanette? Yes. Um, you know, we're Facebook friends and then I'm Facebook I was Facebook friends with her mother as well. Okay. All right, thank you, ma'am. Cross? No questions, go. All right, thank you. You're free to go, Miss Wilson. Thank you. All right. Call your girl, your testimony did not help and it was not needed.